It's an American tradition, taking time off from work in the summer and getting away. But these days, a lot of workers are saying, why bother? We're all at home, and where are you going to go? Callie Johnson works for the Chicago-based consulting firm Nerdery, which revised its paid leave policy in the pandemic, capping end-of-year vacation days. With travel off the table, the mom of two took a staycation in May. It felt very, um, because our typical vacations are very planful, being able to sleep in and then really have child and family-led uninterrupted time in our house was really great. She's not alone. With millions working from home, requests for days off are down more than 25% since the pandemic took hold compared to last year. The burnout factor is real. Robbie Kwok, who oversees people operations at Slack in San Francisco, says using vacation this summer is also important for your well-being. The vacation you take doesn't have to be this very elaborately planned vacation, that bite-sized time off, the local time off, uh, maybe the way to go. And to really encourage a break, Slack now gives all employees one Friday off a month at the same time. If the entire company takes the same day off, then everybody takes a, a real vacation and not have to worry about coming back to a lot of work. Taking time off over the summer also helps employers avoid so-called PTO bombs, when lots of employees request personal time off for the end of the year. Approximately 20% of employers are considering a mandatory PTO policy. They don't want unused days on their books as a liability they have to pay out. But the most important bottom line may be our mental health. Because I've been used to so many weeks of trying to do both parenting and work, it felt really restful and it felt um, joyful. The benefits of a break, no matter where it happens. For today, Jolene Kent, NBC News, Los Angeles. Actually, Joy is joining us right now. Joe is joining us right now. So, Joe, you know, when someone comes back from vacation, you kind of see in their face, they just look more clear, <laughs> more <laughs> relaxed. What noticeable benefits are there that you're missing out on if you skip that vacation? Hey, Peter. Good morning. Yes, yeah, that post-vacation glow, and you can still get it in this pandemic. You know, taking that break is so important for your health. And if you skip and you just power through and you work all the time, you actually miss out on a few things. Improved sleep, a lower heart rate, which is really important for your health, and increased productivity when you get back to work. Now, regular doses of time off, even if you're just staying at home, they're good for your health, especially in this super challenging time, Peter. Yeah, well, speaking of that, Joe, what are some good options for a staycation, which so many people are doing right now? Hey, Kristen, I love this question because we've been looking at this in my home as well. You know, there's lots of good options out there. There's lots of ways to actually save because you're not going to be spending money on that plane ticket or that train travel. One thing, reconnecting with nature, that's always an affordable one. Camping or a state park, even some national parks right now as well. I love this one, a hotel stay nearby. So you're not driving very far. There's some good deals out there. Of course, the good old classic day trip is a good one as well. And most of all, just commit to unplugging. Put away your phone, either power it down, stick it in a drawer, maybe go for a walk, get some exercise with your family, because you want to take a little break before you break, right? That's the whole idea of this. We just barbecued some s'mores. <laughs> Stay at yes. home, hey. call it a camp out. That's unplugging. That over. sounds good <laughs> yeah, to me. Exactly. We got plenty of leftovers. <laughs> My daughters don't need the chocolate. Joe Ling, nice to see you always. We hope you get a little time off nice yourself. You Thanks guys. so much.